All right, so in this video, I want us to learn about how to create single item tuples. And come to think of it, it doesn't really make sense, right? Because we already know about, I mean, regular variables that are able to store one items. So why do we even bother to create tuples that have one items? Well, my answer to that is we will see it in the future. Um, there are times when you need to have a tuple that has only one item. And so there is a special way of representing that in Python. And um, there are also some inbuilt functions or some library functions that you might come across in the future, which have been engineered in such a way that they return single item tuples. And so you need to know how to identify them and how to handle them. Okay. So let's say I want to create a tuple that stores fruits, okay? And I want it to be just one item. The question is, do I just put one item in it and leave it just as it is? So let's say we want to create a tuple that has a mango, okay? First of all, let's check the type of the value that is stored in fruits. So I'll say print type fruits. And let's see. So I'm doing this in a file called tuples with single items. So Python 3 tuples with what? Tuples with single item. Yeah. So it tells me that the data type is a string. And that's quite surprising because in our studies of the string data type, we never mentioned that you need to put a string in brackets. Okay. The truth is that is not how strings are represented in Python. You don't need the bracket to represent strings. However, this is also not how to represent single element tuples in Python. And that is why Python is assuming that is a string because of course it is a valid string that we have created there. And so the special way of creating single item tuples is to use, is to bring the comma at the end of that single item you have the comma is what makes the difference okay so if I come here and I bring a comma like this let's run this program again and see the data type that we get at this point you can see that Python is telling us that fruit is indeed of the data type tuple so always remember even if you are creating a tuple with just one element the comma is required and you have to bring it okay so let's take a quick pause and i will see you in the next video where we learn about how to check the length of a tuple so i will see you very soon